Hey everyone, my name is Jenna Redfield and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm so excited because I'm doing a topic that I feel like covers a lot of different things and that is organizing your computer. Now I've done a lot of videos on Notion as well as like ADHD, stuff around your house, but what about all of the other apps that you need to keep organized? I wanna talk about those today. We're gonna to be talking about everything from your desktop of your computer to your notes, maybe Apple Notes, your photos, your emails, how the heck do we keep all of this organized? Now, I will say I am actually really good at this. Like this is the one thing that I feel like I really have a passion for is organizing files on my computer. I do it also in real life. Um, I'm very organized when it comes to like I don't know, like there's something about it that just makes me excited to organize files. And so I've definitely built up some systems that I think would be really helpful for people. And, you know, keeping it up is the hard part for me. You know, I built the system and it works for the most part. Everything has a home, but actually going through and updating it does take some time. Um, some other things that I organize are like my Canva folders or uh, different ways to prepare things uh, for work. So we're just gonna get into it. I'm gonna run to my computer. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos for ADHD as well as Notion and other topics as well as join our Facebook group um, community. We'd love to have you. Let's get to it. Before we get started, I have to talk about my 13 organizational pillars. So these are things that I have set up for myself using specifically August Bradley has inspired these. He has the pillars, pipelines, and vaults, but I have moved beyond Notion with these. So I'm gonna walk through the 13 and how I use them in everyday life. So the first pillar is business projects. So this means whether that's my Notion templates or an online course, anything that I'm making that's a business project. So it doesn't have a direct client, it's specifically a project I'm doing, whether that's writing a book or doing something in the future, I would put that under business projects. Could be an event, could be whatever it is. The next category is clients. So this is really helpful if you have a business, but it could, if you, even if you have a job as well, this could be your jobs, business projects, your clients at your work, whatever you're doing. For me, this is the people that I'm working with as a coach. So I have an entire, uh, you know, folders for clients, individual clients. I actually organize it by year, um, who I work with. The next category is content creation. So if you're doing any type of marketing, this is YouTube. Uh, it, when I had my podcast, um, any content that I'm making, I put that in a pillar. The next one is entertainment. So this is um, movies I go to, TV shows, you know, that kind of stuff. I, if I, you know, have something that I'm trying to organize, I put that in entertainment. Then there's family. So if that's emails from family, notes about your family, that's its own category. I've got friends and social. This also includes like relationships and dating. Um, this can also include networking. So this kind of has like an overarching friends and social. The next one is health and fitness. So this is food and working out. So anything that goes into those goes into health and fitness. The next one is home and household. So this goes to cleaning chores, uh, buying things for your home, anything in the home and household. The next one is mental clarity. So this is really more for my mental health, whether that's therapy, ADHD, anything that's, you know, getting through some of the issues that I have um, to be more mentally clear. The next one, it's different than mind expansion learning. That's really more of uh, learning, whether that's reading books or listening to experts, listening to podcasts, getting more information into your brain. That's how you organize that stuff. Then there's personal finance. So this is anything to do with money. So whether that's personal admin, things that you have to do with money, the next one is sales and marketing. So this is specifically for, to market the content creation. So how are you getting out there to actually, um, you know, provide for yourself if that's something you do for your business. And then the last one is travel. I don't do this one as much cause I'm not a big traveler, but I know a lot of people are. So I thought I would include that as well. Um, some other categories that you might want to add are like kids that could be part of family. So it's like, you know, there might be individual things you think of, but they probably fall under one of these 13 pillars. So basically why I'm showing you guys this is this is how I organize everything in my life, everything from my email folders to my notes folders to um, Google Drive to <laughs> Google Photos. I literally have it organized under these pillars. So this was game changing for me as a person because this is how I think and having this laid out in a way that I'm like, this makes so much sense to me. And I know that one of these things, whatever comes into my inbox, I know it fits into one of these 13 categories. So I just wanted to say, I don't think 
August Bradley had entertainment in his. I added that because I was like, that doesn't really fit anywhere. It's There's not like a purpose for entertainment, but that is a huge part of my life. I love, you know, going to movies and stuff. So I needed a way to uh, organize that as well. So I just wanted to share these 13 different organizational pillars before we get started into organizing. So I just wanted to run through that. Okay, so one of the first things people asked about was Apple Notes. So I have, you see over on the left-hand side, have organized it by these pillars. So let me just show you, for example, mental clarity. I have some things about um, my therapy sessions, um, whether that's, you know, something to do with that. And you can literally search your notes for different things. Now, my notes were chaotic when I first started organizing them. There were notes that had made no sense. I actually posted um, a picture of some of my notes in a Facebook group and it was it made everyone laugh because they made no sense. So like to me, my Apple notes is just like quick thoughts and sometimes it makes sense in the moment, but sometimes it doesn't. So going through, you can see I have 1700 notes. I'm still going through them and organizing them. Some, some of them I don't need anymore. Some of them I move into Notion, um, but I'm really trying to pare that down. This is really my brain dump area is Apple notes. Notes. So I just want to say that you can actually make folders within folders. Let me go into um, content creation because you can see that I actually have more categories within that. So whether that's apps, blog posts, back when I was doing Clubhouse, uh, quotes that I have, um, you know, the podcast, SEO, YouTube. So anything to do with content creation, I organized my Apple Notes under that as a folder. So they just added folders within folders recently. So I just wanted to let you guys know, again, these are my main pillars and then I have folders or like topics within. Another thing that they recently added, um, let me just like find, let's see, um, if I go to hashtags, let's just find this. Okay, so this is like a hashtag thing that I do and, and obviously if you update it, it goes to the top. But they actually added an option, let me see if I can find another um, example. See, some of these I don't, some of these are not organized correctly. Um, let me find an example. Uh, let's go back into quotes. Some of these, okay, just, just think about, okay, so this is a quote. People say they want character, they always follow clarity. I'm going to put a hashtag, um, uh, quote, and now that gets added to the quote area. Now, if you scroll all the way down where it says tags, you will see that they now have the option to organize by hashtag. So that's pretty cool. So if you click on quotes now, um, you will find other quotes that it's, if you don't want to organize it by folder, you want to quickly just add a hashtag, it gets added that way. So I just wanted to mention that for notes, that's how I organize my Apple notes. Um, let's move on to uh, Google Chrome folders. Let's go. Okay, so when you go into my Google Chrome, you will see that I start with the Friday app. That is actually my home page, so you should definitely check it out. It's friday.app. Um, they have a lot of really cool things that you can add to this as the first thing you open. One of my biggest pieces of advice when it comes to organizing your Chrome, say you just like open a bunch of windows, so let's just go to like google.com, let's go to facebook.com, let's go to Pinterest, uh, pinterest.com, Let's just say we have a ton of tabs open like this. Um, I have installed something called one tab and what it does is if I click it, all the tabs go away and they come over here on the left hand side. Isn't that cool? So that way if you have tab overwhelm, that is how I do that. So let's go back to Google Chrome. Now you'll see here on the top, I actually have organized again my different um, pillars, right? So I've got mind expansion, mental clarity. So if you go into a bookmark manager, some of them I haven't updated, but you'll see that's how I have it. Because I'm on my personal Gmail account, I only have personal stuff. On my business account, I have like business uh, clients. Let's see if I can switch over to that tab. If I go to... So now you'll see on the... Um, on my other one that I actually have my business projects as well in my, uh, this is my business email. So I only have bookmarks on whatever uh, account is open. 
So that's the difference between my email. And you can see if you even drop down, like if I click on um, mental clarity, you'll see I have additional folders within that. So that's just something that you can do. I'm a big proponent of folders within folders. And the one app that I really wish had them is Google Photos, which we can talk about next. But that that drives me nuts. Um, I love Google Photos and it's the one thing I really wish that they had. So that's how I organize my bookmarks on Chrome. Okay, so some people asked about photos. Now my absolute favorite way to organize photos is using the app Google Photos. Now this is a free app. Um, you do have to have a Google account in order to use it. I am a Mac user, um, but I use Google Photos. What's cool is you can just drag and drop any photos from your computer, from a hard drive into Google Photos. It'll automatically sync and upload them to the cloud and it will know if there's a duplicate and it won't upload it. It is amazing. I pay for Google uh, for the like one program. So I actually get about, I think it's like a hundred gigabytes of storage. So I definitely try to make sure I shrink any files I have. Anyways, so the way that I organize Google Photos is by albums. And what I do is I use those same pillar concepts. So I have business project and then a colon, and then I even have additional information. So I'm gonna kind of just quickly scroll through this. I tried to organize as much as I could, um, but you'll see that I have different business projects that I'm working on. I also have different clients and different, um, you know, content creation, uh, things that I enjoy. I actually save a lot of TikToks that I like and organize those as well. I've started mixing them in with just regular content. Another thing that I have, so if I click into one of these, if I click into like uh, elements textures, this is literally just every single texture background I've ever purchased or downloaded, um, takes a second to load. But basically that is the thing that I have done to organize all of those things for myself. Um, and then I have like headshots and I've got all of my, um, old podcast stuff. I also have, then I move into entertainment. So you can see how I kind of organize that. I have family stuff. I've got, um, FG funnels, which is a course. So all the courses I've taken, uh, friends and social. So this is literally stuff throughout my life. I then move into health and fitness. I've got, you know, different things, home and household. I've got some, um, props from the business I used to have. So sometimes I don't always organize by the pillars. Um, but you know, mental clarity, I've got ADHD stuff. Um, mind expansion is basically any, you know, graphics that I found that makes sense. Um, I've got some, and then TCC is my business, uh, Twin Cities Collective. So I have stuff for that. And then I have travel. So trips that I've done. Um, and then, you know, I worked at a summer camp. So that's really, um, what I do for Google photos. Um, I absolutely love Google photos. I might do a full video on it because I love it so much, but that's really how I organize it using my pillar system. I highly recommend having all of your photos in Google photos because it's absolutely the best way to organize your images. So I wanted to also mention my inbox. So some of this is, this is actually my inbox. Um, so you can see, I actually also have labels. So let me quick go back to Canva because I want to show you guys. Um, I actually added colors to each individual one. So business projects is yellow. Clients is red. Content creation is light blue. Entertainment's black. Family is purple. Friends and social is light green. Health and fitness is orange. Home and household is pink. Mental clarity is dark blue. Uh, mind expansion learning is silver. Personal finance is dark green. Sales and marketing is like a orangish red. And then travel is a darkerish blue. So that's how I organize by color. So if I go back to my inbox, that is how I can also label. So I don't think you, a lot of people know this. You can actually label uh, and change the colors. So over here on the left, you will see that I have all of my different categories. If you click on more, I have them down here as well. Um, I, one of the categories I also added is archives. So that's just like things that aren't available anymore, but I still want to keep them. And so like, for example, within health and fitness, I have my chiropractor, you know, COVID vaccine stuff, dentist, dermatology, doctor, fitness, food, menstrual health. So like, those are the, the things that I have organized them by. And then even below that, um, like I have, you know, local fitness. So I have gyms that I used to go to. Um, I have online programs that I've been doing with food. I have, you know, different 
people that I subscribe to. So really it's just how I organize my inbox. Um, there's different ways you can do this, um, but basically if I wanted to, you can label, um, you can create new labels and then nest them under a specific label. But one of the things you definitely wanna do is you want to uh, filter. So you could do filter messages like these. You create a filter and then you choose the label. So that's how I organize it so that when it actually comes in, it will actually label something for you. So that's how I organize my inbox. Um, I don't wanna get like too much into all of my stuff because it's all my emails, kind of personal, uh, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, so I wanted to touch on another thing, which is the desktop, which is something that I have personally created a backdrop for that can organize the photo, the folders within my computer. So I made this on Canva. You can, I think I probably have a copy of it somewhere. Otherwise, just make it yourself however you want. And you can see I've organized the folders within my desktop. I've also labeled them. So if you get, go over to the finder and you see all the different tags, you can see all the different things that have been tagged within those folders. So like if I open content creation, you'll see all of these are blue as well and they're just tagged. So one thing that happens a lot for me is I tend to screenshot things. And so if there are just like a bunch of stuff on your screen, you can either do this, you can click use stacks and then they stack it up. Again, this is just on a Mac. Or what I do is I just drag it and then I open Google Chrome I can just drop it into Google Photos. I don't wanna like show you my Google Photos, so I'm just like showing, but basically it takes like two seconds. You're uploaded, you're good. It's backed up to the cloud and then I immediately trash. So, so you can see I even have like screenshots right here because what I found is that I like to screenshot things and it immediately goes to my desktop and every day or so I try to clean it up. Um, that's really how I organize my desktop and how I organize kind of my files on my computer. All of these desktop um, is actually within iCloud, so everything is backed up. So that's the nice thing about this. If I go into any of these, like for brand assets, I've got like logos and stuff. Um, sometimes it takes a second to load. Um, I've got like, you know, just different things, logo, just different things I need, headshots, I have images that I need. So I kind of organize it that way. I have a lot of also this in Canva. So uh, that's another thing. I think I did a whole video on that. Um, maybe I'll try to find the link, but I organize Canva basically the same way. Uh, let me go open that real quick. But basically with Canva, I do very much the same thing with my folders. Actually, as I'm recording this, Canva is actually gonna be launching something called Projects, which I'm super excited about. So this will all be different by the time um, this video probably goes up. Uh, but if you click on all your folders, you can actually organize it the same way. Business projects, content creation, et cetera. And then I have folders within folders within folders, just like I do um, on my desktop, on everything. So for me, the pillars are everything. It's how I organize my life. And yeah, it's, it's a lot. The last thing I really want to talk about today is Google Drive. So Google Drive is something I will be honest, I don't use a lot anymore. I have replaced Google Drive with Notion and Google Photos. So like those two combo, like any photo video I have, I put it in Google Photos and any like PDF, any type of thing that I have, I put in Notion, right? But I still have it because there's some things like, for example, I can't really put like Google Sheets um, inside of Notion and also just some original things that I have. So I still have my Google Drive. Um, and sometimes if I do have to share something, it is helpful. But again, I'm really trying to move everything into Notion. So a lot of the stuff I've actually moved out of Google Drive and into Notion. So, but if you are like an active Google Drive user, I wanted to mention this as well. So you can see the same thing that I did within all of my other systems. I have organized by pillar as well as by color. So you can create, you know, so if I go into, I believe it's, you know, content creation, I have already labeled, you can go in and change the color so that they're all the same. So for me, like I like to label by color. That's really how I organize. You can have folders within folders. Um, again, going by that pillar system is gonna make your life so much easier and be able to organize your systems.